The trees scream. Three simple words that describe just how horrifying this Backrooms level is. Today, I'm going to be explaining a very anomalous level from the Backrooms fandom, a level that is full of strange stuff that honestly will probably haunt you to the core. And the ending of this level is one of the worst ones I've ever gone over. So stick around for that. And without further ado, let's hop into the explanation, shall we? Backroom's level, The Trees Scream, is underneath the anomalous section of levels in the fandom. So we're really not sure where the level falls, or what number it'll have, or like where it's located physically, but all that we do know is what I'm about to go over. The level has been given a class 5 difficulty, and is of course very unsafe and unsecure, and there are very few documented entities, none of them are regular, but there's still some, I'll get into it later. The level itself is split up into four known parts. Those are the woods, the sirens, the screaming scenery, and the camera cloud forest. And I'll get into all those in a second, but first, the level's basic appearance will start like this. You'll wake up on the level, and you'll notice that all around you there is a dark, never-ending forest with very little light. No matter where you go on this level, there's going to be a bunch of trees surrounding and engulfing you. The trees themselves are very tall, very wide, and they just give off very bad energy. You feel like you're in an ocean, but there's no actual water waves, it's just trees. The level is extremely loud, like deafeningly loud. It'll make you lose your hearing. And there's many, many different types of sounds coming from different parts of the level. You could hear a siren sound, or a loud screech, or screams, or moans, or wails, or cries in pain. Literally anything like that, any loud, crass noise, you're going to hear while you're on this level. I'll get into where those sounds are coming from in a second, but after you walk around the level for an extended amount of time, and kind of just make your way through that first forest, you'll begin to notice something about the trees in the forest. There seems to be sirens shoved into the bark at random places, and those noises that I just talked about are coming from those sirens. The longer you're here, the louder and louder they're going to get, and after approximately 17 minutes of you being here, the screaming and the siren sounds will become unbearably loud. It's at this point where the sounds get to an estimated 130 decibels, which if you don't know, that's loud. That's really loud. You'll begin to lose your mind, you'll begin to lose your hearing, and everything will become glitchy and start to warp. It is literally so loud that the physical air that you're walking through will feel like it's a real thing you can touch. That's how loud the sound waves are, you can almost touch them. At this point, everything that you can see will begin to change. The trees themselves will seem to warp and manifest themselves into radio towers and siren towers, and the ground underneath you will begin to warp into a pathway. Everything at this point is so loud that you've essentially lost the ability to hear, and now everything just looks different. This will transition us into the next part of this level, which is the Siren Site. After the trees warp fully into sirens, you begin to enter this area. The sirens here produce all forms of sounds at all forms of wavelengths. You'll get things like air horns, or tornado sirens, or emergency alerts, or legitimately any kind of siren you can think of inside of this area. And the noises the sirens produce are constant. There's no like break in between, they're always blaring. The towers themselves are similar to how the trees were, because they're very tall, very wide, and they just go up in the sky for an indefinite amount of time. The landscape where the sirens appear is a little bit more flat and rocky than the woods were. The woods were kind of hilly, but these towers just give off these very dark and foreboding vibes as you look up towards them. Of course, they're also constantly blaring loud noises, that doesn't help either, but everything here is just terrifying looking. The towers are also known to collapse and fall down at random times, so unless you want to get you know, squished like a bug, I would recommend watching out. Walking through the siren sites, you could randomly be teleported to the next part of the level, the screaming scenery. Now this is the part of the level that takes place in a vast cornfield and a flower field. It's kind of like corn and flour mixed together. As far as the eye can see, just a big corn crop field. The plants here are so thick that it'll take a lot of physical force to push your way through them and to continue wandering, and this is actually the only part of the level with physical dangers that might hurt you. 
The rest of the place tends to have the auditory dangers, but the danger here is in the form of a mysterious entity that runs through the cornfield and lives inside of it. It's unknown what the entity is or what it looks like, but it's been nicknamed the Banshee. And of course, if you know what a Banshee does, Banshees scream very, very loudly. And in this field, you'll know the Banshee's near when you hear it gurgling and screaming. It's been known to chase after people who are lost inside the corn, and it's been known to eat them. So if you escape that entity, you're one of the lucky ones. And in order to move on to the next part of the level, you do have to escape it. And by escaping it, you'll end up in the original forest of the beginning of the level, and that's when the cycle will start over and over again. Forest, to the siren site, to the screaming scenery, and over and over and over and over and over. It's like an eternal hell. If you're lucky, you'll actually find your way into the Camera Cloud Forest, which is the next part of the level, and this is actually the quietest part of the level by far. There's no abrupt sounds, there's no loud sirens, no screaming, and your ears can finally take a break. A well-deserved break, that is. The Camera Cloud Forest is a very large and expansive spruce forest with a cool and misty aura and ambience. There's a thick mist that runs everywhere, and everything here seems very serene. The only thing that seems to be out of place in this specific forest is the cameras that are placed in the sides of the trees. The cameras seem to be watching you and kind of tracking your movements, but nothing deadly has happened with the cameras yet, so I guess it's kind of okay to search around. Walking through this forest, you might find things like chairs and desks and seats and pencils and printers and other types of office furniture scattered around. It's completely unknown why they're here, but they are. One wanderer actually claimed to find a small shack in these woods with a monitor inside of it that showed all the cameras that were in the forest. They could see whatever's happening. Now, why this monitor exists and the shack exists, who watches the monitor, or if it's actually connected to any other part of the level, it's unknown. Does some powerful entity control the level? Is there a human here? Or is it like just a mishmash of random environments that just so happen to be loud and full of sirens? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. There are no colonies, of course, since you can't have a bunch of people losing their hearing, because that wouldn't work. And to enter, you can only be in a forest-themed level, walk too deep into those forests, and you can get sent here. Or, if you're a screamer, you can scream loudly in any hall on any level for a chance to be sent here as well. To exit, you need to be in the cornfield, walk deep enough into it, until you kind of find a part of level 10's field, which is just tall wheat. And then once you find that, walk into it and you'll be on level 10. It's pretty simple. This level is literally one of the worst ones you can get sent to in my eyes, mainly for the, obviously, the auditory dangers. I don't want to get my eardrums bursted, but that is just a terrible place. Imagine, you know, being trapped like a prison in this forest, in these fields, and just hearing these sirens blaring constantly for days and days until you go crazy. No one knows anything about this level's effects or its layout or why it behaves the way it does. So for now, honestly, just don't go exploring it. You should be okay if you don't do that. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Hope you enjoyed it. There's no outro for this video. I'm just going to say, uh, have a good day. Bye.